Hi, welcome to How To Repair. This video is on a dishwasher that will not fill. It's been on for about 4-5 minutes and now it's flashing up an error code. On this model it's AL5 or ALS, uh, which is a timeout and no fill indication. Now I've got this machine on the test bench and I know it's a common fault with this type of machine that the water valve fails. But when you're working at home I suggest you check that you've actually got water going through to the water valve before you start work on it and if you find that you have got water to the water valve then disconnect the electricity supply before you start work. While I'm doing this uh, do remember there's links above here that you'll be able to follow to all tutorials on dishwashers at the website and also any parts that you need for your appliance to get it back in work in order. Now this valve is a common fault. It's um, the diaphragms go in the valve itself and not the actual solenoid, the electrical part. I'll show you in more detail in a second. So just removing the water valve plate, two screws for this. It's also worth watching two other videos that I have on the website. One is how water valves work and the other one is uh, another fault with the dishwasher so it'll be called dishwasher not filling again. Uh, but it gives you a more in-depth look at the way the flotation chambers all work. Now we have a small pipe on the top there that goes through to the diaphragm part of the valve and this is what's causing a problem. It's not allowing the flow of water to go through to the machine on this bottom pipe uh, within the time scale that the machine requires and therefore the machine is stopping and an error fault comes up. The electrical side of the valve is in perfect condition because I've already tested it so you would actually get a normal reading on the solenoid valve but the water just doesn't come through in the time period and therefore it times out. So we're just going to replace the whole valve here, it's not worth messing around with. Here we have the new valve ready to fit. If you're watching this on YouTube, in the description below I'll put some links on for you uh, to take you through to the website to the correct tutorials which I mentioned just now. Some of these water valves are in awkward places so you have to be careful trying to get all the pipes on and everything, not to break anything. But just take your time, it's easy enough. While I'm reassembling this I've put some links on the top for you, just click on them and it'll take you through to the relevant sections. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. And if you'd like to join us on Facebook there's a link above for that as well. Make sure you get the pipes on tight with the clips on correctly. Uh, you can also put a cable tie on the diaphragm tube at the top if it feels a little loose. Then just reassemble the machine, put the water back on, make sure the water valve's on. Turn the machine on and after about 5-6 minutes of it going through the wash cycle you should have the water in the machine. We hope you found this video helpful. Please remember to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. Thanks very much indeed for watching. I hope we could help.